Hi everyone, this is uh, Rick Sander from Evergrey uh, speaking. Today I'm going to show you this software program called Mainstage, which I use in live situations. Of course it would be more fun to bring lots of uh, heavy keyboards and stuff, but this is really convenient. I just bring a laptop and then I have, um, well, controller units that I can control this program. So I'm going to show you how I set up a real easy keyboard rig. First I have to find uh, sim some symbols that I assign to my real controller. And since I have a, s a 61 note keyboard, I find it here and I drag it up. And there's a keyboard. Here's some layers that I don't need so I'm going to disable those looks better I also have a sustain pedal and um, like a volume pedal here it is so I'll drag this up but I'm going to press the sustain yes and the expression or the volume pedal okay I will need some more knobs or faders so I can control like uh, different effects or whatever I need and uh, my uh, my uh, controller keyboard which is a Roland A800 Pro has lots of knobs and faders and uh, I have to assign assign those as well so I start with like this round knob I press it I press assign and then I just turn one of my knobs on my keyboard. And now that, that one is assigned and I also can have a, like a vertical fader, drag it up, press it, press assign and just move one of my uh, faders and it's assigned. Still no sound but we're gonna fix that right now. First I will create a new patch untitled let's name it piano and then I move over to this mixer section of the program and press this plus and I need a software instrument create and then I find the uh, instrument I want and for this particular reason I will need a grand piano so let's see if I have some sound yeah as you can see the keyboard on the screen showing my playing quite cool now I'm gonna use uh, these uh, knobs and faders for I, I put them there for a reason so I'm thinking about having some effects and I think this piano will need a reverb so I make an aux track over here and I put on a uh, reverb and now I want to control this uh, send here this is like uh, the send from from this channel goes to the reverb and I want to control that on my keyboard so I press this little round knob and I map it over here. Now when I move this, you see the knob is moving. And that means the knob on my controller keyboard will move since it's assigned. So there it goes. So here is no reverb. <laughs> All 
right I will need yet one more sound I think in this example so I create one more software instrument and then I I'm looking for some kind of pad synth pads take this one control the expression on this sound or the volume and I'm going to use my expression pedal and it's here and I do this again I map this symbol and here is the for the expression I move it and my pedal moves and I check out my real pedal yes seems to be right and now there shouldn't be a pad sound let's see there it is to control the dynamics of your playing I still want to do something with this pad sound uh, I want to control the cut off frequency of the filter and I have that here and I'm going to use this vertical fader to do this I press it I map it move the cutoff knob and now I try my vertical fader here comes the pad here comes the filter So as you can see it's it's very convenient and you can choose exactly want what you want the program to do so I hi highly recommend to use this uh, especially in a live situation and of course you can have uh, lots of patches like in any uh, synthesizers and when we do our live shows I have li like a patch for every a couple of patches for every song so all right i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, i'll see you on tour take care bye bye <laughs>